Welcome to our latest edition of In the Kitchen at Savory Jack's. Today we're going to do a food scene from the new August Osage County, which is Meryl Streep and Julia Roberts' new film. And if you've seen the movie, this is the infamous catfish dinner. And we're going to start with some cornbread. My trusty assistant Matt here has already pre-measured everything and I'm going to have him start mixing because it takes a little bit longer. The recipe for cornbread, this is my mom's recipe. so. Um, I'm a savory kind of guy. I don't like sweet cornbread. But we do three to one. Three cups of self-rising yellow cornmeal. One cup of self-rising flour. Three eggs that he's gonna crack and whisk while he's mixing that. And then three cups of buttermilk and a couple of big pinches of salt. So I'm gonna let Matt go to the cornbread mixing. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna tell you a little something about what happened for us here. This is the Friday, January 17th edition of the Wall Street Journal. Yes, it's that Wall Street Journal. And this is their special Academy Awards section. And down on the bottom here, they have a little fantasy Oscar section. And if you open up and go to the inside page, and let's get that so we can hopefully see that. In this corner, ooh, who won for fantasy food? Best fantasy food, August, Osage County. And the scene that they say we won for was the one we're doing right now. So, and that's the catfish dinner. So, we're gonna start. We got the cornbread going. Let me put my Wall Street Journal. Yes, the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> Wall Street Journal, Pulaski, yes. Oh, did I say Fantasy Oscar? Yes. What kind of paper was that? Oh, the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> okay. It's out of New York. You may not have heard of it. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to mix up the cornbread. And uh, we're going to do that first because the cornbread takes a little bit longer to cook than uh, the other things that we're doing today. And the way my mama always made cornbread, which when you see the movie, uh, if you look closely at the table that they're sitting at, there is a big cast iron skillet with the cornbread still in it. And this is the recipe that we used for the movie. And the way my mom always did it was she got the grease in the skillet all nice and hot, which we have heating over here in the oven. Be very careful, folks, when you're cooking because nobody wants to burn anyone. But you see, I've got a little bit, I use olive oil. My mom used pig fat. We're trying to be a little bit healthier here. So um, we've got the olive oil that's been in the oven, 365 oven. It's nice and steaming. So hopefully when uh, Matt gets done with his whisk, we'll be able to pour it in. And what this does, it kind of fries the bottom of the cornbread so that the cornbread is really crispy and crunchy on the bottom when you cut it. And that's the way we always had it. I just say go ahead and pour it. Oh, I'll do yeah, it. I'll let oh. you do the honors. Thank you, Matt. All right. Ooh, and hopefully we got our grease hot enough here. Oh yeah, it's bubbling around the edges just the way we want it to do. So, all right, yeah. So we'll have a nice fright, and it's okay if the uh, oil runs over the top too, because you don't mind the top of it being as crunchy as the as the bottom. Okay, cornbread is. Did you get that? Can you see the sizzling around there? Yeah. Uh, open up our oven, and we're gonna pop the cornbread right in here. Let it cook away. Next, we're going to cook some green beans, but um, this may be a good time to take a little break and hear word from our sponsor, and we'll be right back. Are you looking for lightning fast, dependable data service? Look no further than PES Energize. If you have slow internet at home or at work, PES Energize can offer high speed quality solutions. Take a look at Murray Chevrolet and Anchor IT Solutions. Both are satisfied customers. PES Energize can sign you up for lightning fast internet or a broad lineup of great TV packages. Pick up the phone or stop by today to join the PES Energize family. Don't suffer with slow internet any longer. 
Call PES Energize. Okay, we're about to start with our second dining experience from the catfish scene on Osage County. It's the sauteed green bean. So, I've got my cast iron wok all nice and hot. I've just thrown in a couple of tablespoons. Hopefully you can hear me over the sizzling of the garlic. I want to get the garlic nice and brown in the oil. And then we're going to take a nice heaping handful of green beans and we're going to throw right into our wok here. So when I was growing up, if green beans weren't stuck to the side of the pan, they weren't cooked. But as I got a little bit older, I decided that vegetables don't need to be cooked quite as much as they used to when I was a kid. So I like to keep them a little al dente, a little, a little undercooked. So the garlic and the olive oil, a little sprinkle of salt on here. I prefer to use fresh green beans, but if you can't, you can get some good frozen ones these days. And they're fresh frozen, so they stay nice and crunchy after you cook them just a tad bit here. So, and then once you have them sauteing for just a second or two here, my favorite finishing touch. Ah, white wine. And it's fresh too. It is Jack, fresh I made sure of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes. I noticed there is a little bit missing from the bottle here. It's like Julia Tiles always said if it's, if it's not good enough to drink, don't cook with it. So, they like a nice wine. Don't ever cook with anything you wouldn't drink. So, I just throw a little bit of wine on there. Let that saute and steam just a bit. And then do the sample. Oh yeah. That's cool. All right, then let them cook just a second longer. So it's very simple. A couple of tablespoons of garlic in olive oil. Let the garlic get nice and brown in the oil. Throw in your green beans while it's nice and hot. Let them saute in the oil for just a moment. And while it's all hot and steamy, you want to pour a couple of splashes of white wine, a nice white wine, and let the green beans saute for just a moment. We're going to turn off the heat. We're going to move these over to the side and we'll let them just keep cooking for just a moment. And when we get back, we're going to do the final part of our meal, which is the catfish fillet. So, or the bottom feeders, if they're known. See you in a minute. Events that affect your legal rights can happen any time and without warning. When they do, you need an attorney. Stanley K. Perchowski, attorney at law, is committed to protecting his client's legal rights. If you have questions about patent law, wills, estate and probate, personal injury, family law, or business law, then discuss them first with the Perchowski Law Firm. You've got constitutional rights, but if you don't use them, they're considered waived. I'll see to it that your rights are exercised to your benefit. Call the Perchowski Law Firm. Hello, welcome back to our next segment of Cooking in the Kitchen at Savory Jack's. And again today, if you're just turning in, we are doing the famous catfish scene from August Osage County, or soon to be famous. Uh, did I mention we won a, um, a Fantasy uh, Academy Award? Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. From uh, a little paper called the Wall Street Journal. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, what really. paper again? The Wall Street Journal oh. out of New York. Oh, wow. Big paper. Ah, we have our catfish fillets. And here, I like a very simple batter for my catfish. This is simply uh, self-rising cornmeal, some salt and pepper. It's about two cups of self-rising cornmeal, maybe a couple of teaspoons of salt and a little dash of pepper. I have my catfish fillets that are nice and clean and they're nice and dry because we don't want a lot of the cornmeal stuck to them. But we're just going to toss them in. We're going to help it roll them around just a little bit. And while I am, Matt, could you check our temperature on our fry oil? You sure really can. want to um, 
Make sure if you have a cook thermometer that your oil is at 365. And uh, I think I'm going to turn this over to Matt and let him give you a few safety tips for frying, especially if you're deep frying. Absolutely. Thanks, Jack. Folks, one thing you want to know, um, invest in a good thermometer. Uh, our thermometer is sitting at around 355. And um, a couple things you want to know is you, you definitely don't want to overheat your um, oil because that can cause a fire and a very dangerous one at that. Um, it also, we're using a cast iron pot. Another thing to know is the cast iron pots are designed to hold heat. So once you're right at your 360 temperature, you can go ahead and shut your heat off and it will hold that 360 for a good while. And another thing to emphasize on is, as Jack said, make sure your catfish is dry. Another reason is not only you don't want too much um, flour and um, cornmeal mixture, is you also don't want to drop any water into your oil because, as we all learned in high school science, that water and oil do not combine and mix well. So you would have a bunch of bubbles and you would scorn yourself. So, Jack, I'm going to hand it back to you. Okay, we're at 365, the perfect frying temperature. We've got our little fishies here. We're going to ease them into the fry oil so we don't splatter or burn ourselves. We want to make sure we do this nice and smoothly. There we go. These will only need to fry for just a couple of minutes. The fillets are pretty thin and catfish is a nice white fish so you don't really want to overcook it too much. And you can see they're starting to come up to the top. So you have a nice Chinese scoop here, which is a good drain so that we can not bring too much oil with us when we get them over here. And just in case, did I mention how many Academy Awards, real Academy Awards, August Osage County was nominated for? What number was that? <laughs> I think, well, at least two, Meryl Streep. Did I mention her name by any oh, chance? Meryl Streep. Yeah, she plays yeah. the mom in the movie. Yeah, so she's nominated for an Academy Award. And then there's another young actress you might have heard of named Julia Roberts. Oh, I think I've heard of that. Julia name? Roberts. Oh. Yeah, she's in this movie and she was nominated for an Academy Award. Was this in any newspaper? Oh, or yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh. Several, like every newspaper, I think, mentioned that. Uh, it was an amazing cast. There's 10 people around the dining room table, which was a 25-page scene. So wow. just so if you guys know, it took five days when you see the movie and they have the... Uh, the dinner with all of them around the table. It took us five days, 12 hours a day to shoot that scene. And almost every 15 or 20 minutes, we had to replace most of the plates on the dining room table. So, um, and then it ends up in a big fight scene. So if, uh, if you get to see it, just keep looking at the food that's on the table. And I think our catfish got a little bit great. Yes. yes. Um, See, what we've, we've, we've set up here is for the two catfish that we tried earlier. Um, if you've got your oil at 365, the catfish should come out nice and crisp, not greasy, but you still are going to have a little excess oil on it. So we put a couple of paper towels down the bottom of it. When I was a kid and growing up, my mom always used brown newspaper to soak up the grease. So if you've got some, I mean, brown paper sacks, I'm sorry. Newspapers aren't brown. Uh, Chinese scoops work well because you can get most of the grease off while you're taking them out. Beautiful. And we got two at once that time. Fish. All right. I love a little fresh lemon on my fish of all kinds, and I think the best time to do it is right when it comes out of the oven. So we're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on this. Okay, and that's our catfish cooked. And we're going to cut to our sponsors, two of our favorite people here in Pulaski, the Chowski Law Firm and Pulaski Electric System. So we'll see you in just a few moments when you come back to catch our last minutes.
Events that affect your legal rights can happen anytime and without warning. When they do, you need an attorney. Stanley K. Perchowski, attorney at law, is committed to protecting his client's legal rights. If you have questions about patent law, wills, estate and probate, personal injury, family law, or business law, then discuss them first with the Perchowski Law Firm. You've got constitutional rights, but if you don't use them, they're considered waived. I'll see to it that your rights are exercised to your benefit. Call the Perchowski Law Firm. Are you looking for lightning-fast, dependable data service? Look no further than PES Energize. If you have slow internet at home or at work, PES Energize can offer high-speed quality solutions. Take a look at Murray Chevrolet and Anchor IT Solutions. Both are satisfied customers. PES Energize can sign you up for lightning-fast internet or a broad lineup of great TV packages. Pick up the phone or stop by today to join the PES Energize family. Don't suffer with slow internet any longer. Call PES Energize. Welcome back. Uh, if you're just joining us, we're doing um, a menu today that I did for the movie that's out in the theaters now called August Osage County, starring Meryl Streep and Julia Roberts. I've got cornbread cooking in the oven, which I'm going to take out. We've already cooked our green beans and we fried up our catfish. So let me grab the cornbread. Oh, yeah. If you uh, see the cornbread in the movie, which is going to be during this scene, sitting right beside Julia Roberts, it looks like a Pac-Man smiley face. So that was what we did that kind of on purpose as a joke to try to give it a little bit of personality instead of just sitting there. Ooh. So see, it looks like a Pac-Man. I'm going to cut this in half so we'll have two pieces, one for each. And as Julia Roberts said, as she's fixing her plate in the kitchen, oh, catfish, bottom feeder, perfect for today, as to how I feel. So we have a little bit of green beans, which Julia actually used her hands when she was doing it on camera, but uh, they're a little hot. So I am going to use mm -hmm, my tongs. So we'll get rid of this, this we will leave the Pac-Man cornbread here. And now we have our two plates that our two lead actresses were um, using in the movie. And we'll be right back in a second. And when we come back, we'll be doing a dramatic interpretation of this scene for you because the movie's still in the theater, so we couldn't get any clips from you. But in case you don't get to see the movie, we didn't want you to miss out on this really fun catfish meal. So we'll be back in just a second. So these stunts were done by professionals today, so please don't try these at home. You might hurt someone. If you do try them at home, notice that we used safety paper plates instead of real plates. Thank you for joining us today here at Savory Jack's Kitchen. We'll see you next time. Who knows when that'll be, but if we don't get canceled. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Events that affect your legal rights can happen any time and without warning. When they do, you need an attorney. Stanley K. Perchowski, attorney at law, is committed to protecting his client's legal rights. If you have questions about patent law, wills, estate and probate, personal injury, family law, or business law, then discuss them first with the Perchowski Law Firm. You've got constitutional rights, but if you don't use them, they're considered waived. I'll see to it that your rights are exercised to your benefit. Call the Perchowski Law Firm. Are you looking for lightning-fast, dependable data service? Look no further than PES Energize. If you have slow internet at home or at work, PES Energize can offer high-speed quality solutions. Take a look at Murray Chevrolet and Anchor IT Solutions. 
Both are satisfied customers. PES Energize can sign you up for lightning fast internet or a broad lineup of great TV packages. Pick up the phone or stop by today to join the PES Energize family. Don't suffer with slow internet any longer. Call PES Energize.